I see you and I meet you with love. Hello, my beautiful soul family, friends, star seeds, light workers. How are you all doing? I hope that you're all doing well. So tonight, before we start the readings, we're going to do a little mini meditation. So the sound should be better because I did finally get my rug. And thank you for the subscriber who somehow I forgot that I did <laughs> for my rug, that I didn't have a rug. And she mentioned it to me and I said, oh yeah, it's true, the rug. So thank you for that subscriber that uh, mentioned that in the comments. And of course, Sandy is behind me, okay, in her little pink bed. She has her toy next to her, which is a little doggy, and her food. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Take a deep breath in. So I'm going to invoke, of course, my higher self, the Holy Spirit, the, our beloved universe, Mother Gaia, my angels, my archangels, my fairies, and last but not least, my ancestors to be here present with the mini meditation. So all you need to do is take a deep breath in. I will do four, four um, interludes for the healing. And uh, with that, it will be to clean, clear your, your aura, of course, your energy, where you are, where I am, of course, setting healing through the chakras, especially the heart chakra at this time for breakthroughs in your life and also raising your vibration. Okay, so let's get started. So my mom and I, Joanina, and of course myself, and also my daughter, we are sending you prayers, light, love, peace, and of course a virtual hug. I hope you could feel that. Take it all in. And again, a big thank you for everybody here that's been with me for a long time. Thank you for the ones that showed up halfway recently or are new. Welcome. To my community of 27 years and going again a big thank you to all of you as well and now let's get started with your readings i'll be right back hi aquarius and welcome to your weekly reading this is from november 22nd to the 28th of 2021 how are you all doing my beautiful aquarians sending a hello to a lot of my friends out there as well my community and those of you here on youtube Again, I'm always happy to do your readings and I'm looking so forward in hearing all your messages. So let's get started right away with the Ascended Masters. Okay. 
Let's see what the Ascendant Masters have to say for all of you out there. I'm sure you can probably hear Sandy in the background. <laughs> She's doing something. Let's see, Aquarius. What are your messages here? Aquarius, let's see what you have. You have the power of joy. The power of joy. So let me take it out. So the additional meanings, this is uh, the Ascendant Master for this is my tray A. Ascendant Masters, I'm um, Ascendant Master, my tray A. Okay, so to find your desired outcome, Aquarius, follow the path of joy. Your life purpose is supported by the joy and passion you feel when you're thinking about or working on your purpose. The joy that you feel within relationships keeps them alive, exciting and growing. The joy that comes from your hobbies gives you extra energy. Or of all the emotions, joy has the highest energy vibration. Joy has the power to remove all obstacles and attract all your needs. Joy reminds us that we don't need to suffer at all. We can fulfill our purpose, help ourselves and others and heal through the power of joy. The initial meanings for this card is stay positive and filled with faith to manifest your desires into reality. Find the humor in this situation. Enjoy a good laugh. Develop hobbies that bring you pleasure. And to find your life's purpose, do what brings you joy. So joy, power of joy. And you see the rainbow. All right, now we're going to look at your animal totem of the week. Your animal totem is the monkey, and this is what Archangel Raphael says here. Experience all that life has to offer. Experience all that life has to offer. Hold on a second. I'm going to get this stuck here. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Let's look at the challenge of the week. You have two things that you need to surrender. First, surrender outdated beliefs about yourself, Aquarius. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. So surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. And the next one, you guys surrender fear, Aquarius. Let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. So the two challenges this week is to surrender your fears and surrender outdated beliefs about yourself, okay? And now we're gonna look at which numbers, which angel numbers are gonna be with you this week. Okay, first card you got is number six. I am nurturing, Aquarius. Your heart is your gift. You are a natural born nurturer and have a great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. Next one you got is number 21. I am inspiring, Aquarius. You are highly creative with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged it reveals itself in everything you do, from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. And last but not least, you got 1010. I am patient. 
Aquarius, keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good. Trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. If you see these numbers, this week will be a confirmation of your reading with me. So now let's get started with your reading, Aquarius. This reading is for Aquarius Sun and anywhere that you have Aquarius in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. If the reading resonates, claim it with all your heart. But if it doesn't, then look at your other placements on your chart. In this reading, I will show you your recent past, your current energies, your immediate future, what is in from you, and the possible outcome. And then I will clarify the cards of which Spirit wants me to clarify for you. After that, whatever signs that show up in your reading will have a bonus round, heart to heart, soul to soul. After the bonus, I will give you a crystal card, I will give you a sacred geometry card, and last but not least, I will give you a card from our beloved universe to see what is the message that they want to relate to you. So I hope that you stay tuned, and if you do, I thank you in advance, my beautiful souls. And your cards are ready, so let's get started. Very excited to start your reading. Okay. Amazing, Aquarius. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this reading is about you, Aquarius, like always, like I say. But feel free to swap the energies if, if you feel it's about someone else, okay? So in the uh, overall energy here, within, uh, I have the King of Pentacles reversed. This could be some of you are feeling uh, unstable. This could be towards a job or a project. Um, you know, maybe not making, uh, not feeling insecure, like you, you know, or not feeling successful at this time, or you're going through a bumpy ride, or this could be someone around you, or this is you feeling unstable. Also, uh, what Spirit is saying here, and uh, there was some type of, uh, a lot of you cut, um, it's very important because he showed me underneath the card, you have the Ace of Swords here, okay? So, it, a lot of you had to uh, um, got a lot of clarity in the last year, especially in the last year, you got a lot of clarity. Uh, the divine showed you a lot of things. It made you see things that you were not be able to see before. And uh, some of you cut communication from people and from your past interferences. There could have been rejections, but there's a lot that you cleared there. That's what Spirit is saying. In the recent past, you got the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So there was a delay here in uh, something to take place, a delay with in the past year, okay? There was mishaps or misfortune or things that didn't take place here. Even though there was a lot of wish fulfillments that you truly desired from the heart, um, with, the, with the Nine of Cups, also with the Nine of Cups reversed here, that someone here wasn't coming in or wasn't able to come in to bring love to the table or could this could be vice versa. But in the current energy, you got the Ace of Wands. This is about passion within you and all around you. The Divine is bringing you this. And uh, a lot of you have been working on yourselves, very independent here, working on yourselves, uh, uh, putting a lot of energy into uh, maybe something that you, uh, some type of project, uh, also feeling happy, being in gratitude. A lot of communication also from, um, you know, from someone uh, that crossed over for you, Aquarius, okay? Um, that's what's keeping you going for some of you. There's some message there for somebody. And uh, you also got in the current energy, the Ace of Cups. This talks about abundance coming in for you. And this is about also, uh, you know, forgiveness, having unconditional love, feeling overwhelmed, but at peace. Okay, so this could be, like I said, abundance is here. Uh, in in the immediate future, you got the King of Swords. That Now, the King of Swords could be you as well, or it could be someone else around you. But this is about someone that sees, uh, that sees clearly a lot of creative not only creativity, but being able to uh, communicate, uh, being focused, being clear, 
um, finding solutions, okay, um, thinking ahead, thinking ahead, okay, and in the hopes and fears, you got the Two of Pentacles reversed, which happens that uh, something here did not take place, uh, maybe some like unexpected money or something that had to come in, there was a delay here, we'll see why, uh, something was not a strong foundation, there was no cooperation, and something must, something broke, okay, and in what's being hidden from you, you've got the Two of Pentacles reversed. So this is about dropping something. So someone dropped something here, okay? They're not feeling that they're being pulled in two different directions. And uh, you've got three cards in the possible outcome. Um, the worry will stop. You will not be worried any longer in the possible outcome here. Why? Because you got completion. Coming full circle. There's endings and new beginnings that are taking place. And taking a pause before taking the next step. And when you get disclosure, you get... The Ten of Pentacles, this is the fruit of life, okay? This could be a project that you're starting with. You're doing a Aquarius that's going to bring you retirement for some of you. Uh, it could be uh, just, um, you know, having gratitude. and But not only gratitude, it could be unexpected money coming in. Uh, it could be two people coming in, right, to bring this Ten of Pentacles. But this talks about the fruit of life, okay? So now we're going to clarify the cards for you and see what else is going on. Okay, let's look at this King of Pentacles reversed here. Why is this King of Pentacles reversed for Aquarius? You got the Devil, Saturn energy. The Seven of Cups reversed. And the Eight of Cups. Maybe some of you were dealing with a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be that sign. Okay. But definitely here, there was someone that was unstable. There was a lot of unhealthy uh, relationships, toxic people around you. It could be addictions. It could be also thought patterns, how you think, how you talk to yourself. But there is a breakthrough uh, with this that's taking place. You're not confused. There's no confusion around the situation anymore. And with the Eight of Cups, I see someone walking away. Okay. So someone walking away from a, a certain situation here. Now, let's look at the Wheel of Fortune reversed in the recent past. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed? The Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacle energy here. I like that for you, Aquarius. So, yeah, I mean, there was maybe a lot of delays or things that, like, you know, you weren't at the right place at the wrong at the right time. Uh, things didn't take place, okay? Like the wheel wasn't turning in your favor in the past year. But a lot of you are kept working on something and putting a lot of energy towards that, okay? Uh, perfecting something with the Eight of Pentacles. And uh, what I see is that you're moving slowly, okay? You're taking your time, okay? Moving towards your goals, planning it very poorly. And with the Three of Pentacles, I see cooperation. I could see three people here or two people coming together. And there's a strong foundation. Now let's look at the Nine of Cups reversed and what's crossing you. You got the Emperor. The Two of Pentacles reversed. Again, the Twos, number 22 here. I have one, one, one. Okay, and let's see what else. The Ace of Swords reversed with the Temperance reversed. Okay, so definitely here, something got dropped okay or you dropped something maybe f focusing on one thing uh some of you had to uh some of you cut something out completely out of your life okay that's definitely uh there was someone that cut out some but something here okay um even though it was like something that was a wish fulfillment um i guess uh, some of you had to drop something to move forward in a single way this is what spirit is saying and uh, not being clear about a situation here, okay? Um, if you were dealing with a Sagittarius, it doesn't have to be. But uh, moderation was needed in the situation here and um, patience. And none of that was taking place. Okay, this is in the recent past. But with the Emperor energy here, this talks about some type of commitment. It's about establishing new rules. 
in a business or maybe in a commitment, whatever it is, okay? Uh, and uh, new rules and new possibilities here. It's about slowly planning ahead if this has to do with a business opportunity because I see a lot of pentacles here. Now, let's look at the Knight of Cups reversed in the recent past. So someone not coming in, not able to have emotions at this time. You got the Empress reversed, you see? You got the Seven of Wands reversed, the Fool reversed. Some of you decide to do with a marriage, or this if it's not with a marriage, it has to do with, um, it's about learning your life lessons. If there was a situation here, okay, there was missed opportunities. A lot of you felt defeated in a situation. This could have been about a mother as well. Uh, so you have a, had the loss of a mom here, of, of your past, okay, and it really brought you, like, down, you know, and made it to your knees, actually. That's what Spirit is saying, something about a mother figure passing away and uh, you felt defeated and, um, and uh, you know, during the, the time you ha you've been working on yourself, so uh, self-healing especially, and so um, you're understanding why that this took place in your life. But for others of you, there is missed opportunities here in a situation where you felt defeated. You're not, we're not able to move forward in faith in a situation and not moving forward with love at that time because you couldn't give. And uh, with the Hierophant and Upright, it just says that this could be about a marriage for some of you or um, some type of commitment for work. And it's about higher learning and higher understanding. Now let's look at the current energy. You've got the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, you have the Tower, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Pages, uh, Swords, and the, the Page of Pentacles. So there is some type of something taking place here, passion. There's a new offer coming in for you. It's the pages are all about new beginnings taking place, something of stability, okay? So there could be an offer uh, with the Ace of Wands energy. And um, yeah, so in the past, you had many tower moments. With the Nine of Cups energy, this is a wish fulfillment for a lot of you. And you're going to be receiving an unexpected message coming in. The offer could be about work. It could be about love. Let's see what it's about. What's this Nine of Swords about? Where, what are they coming in with? The Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? For Aquarius. A lot of you are going through a spiritual awakening at this time, okay? So a lot of things will not feel, you'll feel renewed. You'll see things differently. And it's about, it's about uh, whatever that's taking place or maybe someone's coming in to tell you this, okay? Or, or there's, there is someone here that's going through a spiritual awakening and it's about seeing clarity about everything that you couldn't see before. Now let's look at the Nine of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. You're rocking, Aquarius. Okay. So there was there, there was some type of rejection or something that some type of acceptance in the past that took place here that that realized that things were not in balance in your life. Whatever that you were giving, you weren't receiving, okay? That took place. But since you've been working on yourself and being very independent here with yourself, okay? A very independent energy. Um, what's showing up for you is an Ace of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. So there is some type of soulmate energy around you. This is about feeling contented in your, hap in your home, with your children, with your family, or with your soul tribe family for some of you. And with the Ace of Pentacles, there's definitely a gift coming in. You do have 1111 on the ground, okay? Uh, so there is definitely a gift coming in or some type of mon money or some type of stability that's coming in. But you will receive an unexpected message because you did get the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups talks about abundance that's coming in for you. So let's see what's going on. I got the Four of Swords. Look at that. You got the Ace of Cups twice. A lot of you are, are still in the healing, um, taking time out to heal in a situation here with the Four of Swords. 
And with that, with the healing that's being done, uh, you are getting clarity on everything. But the divine is coming in to give you abundance. You got the Ace of Cups twice in your reading. That's amazing. You also got the King of Pentacles upright, being successful, being reliable. The King and Queen of the Castle here. Okay, very, very beautiful, victorious. Freedom. Solid. One more card for that. Someone here is coming out of the dark night of the soul. Someone here is coming out of a dark night of the soul. And someone, someone here is coming out of a time where they've been hermit, hermiting. Okay, so definitely here, there is something that's taking place. A gift is coming in for you, huge. Let's look at the King of Swords in the immediate future. This is how you're feeling. You're feeling like the King of Swords, very aloof. Finding solutions, thinking ahead, seeing things that are around you that needs to be seen. A lot of communication, creative ideas, being focused. You got the Queen of Pentacles reversed with the Six of Swords. So why is this Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, Page of Wands. There was some type of judgment that I feel somebody cut out somebody here. Um, even though the Queen of Swords is not here, I feel the Queen of Swords reversed. Someone could be angry. Someone here that's uh, maybe with the Queen of Pentacles reversed. They're not in their element at this time. Feeling insecure maybe. Just feeling insecure around maybe money probably. Um, you know, some of you are worried about money, you can't sleep at night, there's something that you're worried about. There was some type of judgment that took place in the past, that this showed me that. But what they're showing me is that something is coming in divine timing with the Page of Wands and the Six of Swords. So you are going through a transition from a place where it was not that great to a better place. Some of you, this could be about going on vacation, or some of you, could, this could be about relocating or moving a business or even a home, okay? Now let's look at the Three of Pentacles reversed here in the hopes and fears. Some of you are fearing the worst in a situation. You've got the Magician reversed, the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands. Why is the Magician reversed? In the past, I feel that uh, some of you uh, had, uh, you were dealing with people or situations around you that were toxic or were very low vibrational energy here and uh, not able to uh, to vibrate higher in like knowing your self-worth, something about knowing your self-worth, okay? But what they're showing me is like you're taking action with the Nine of Wands and the King of Wands energy. Someone here is going after their dreams with passion and conviction here, okay? And there's definitely action that's taking place. Or it could be around two different people here, okay? So I'm just gonna take an extra card for the Knight of Wands. And the King of Wands. Wait, give me a second. I'm just trying to see something. Okay. The lovers reverse. The four swords reverse. Yeah. See, no, some type of no communication. Not able to see, perceive differently. Not able to um, get any ideas going on. If this has to do with business, um, not happy in a home. No stability in a home. Too much interferences in this home. And uh, there was a choice that was made. Uh, this was a, a there was a beautiful connection here, and there was a choice that was made in the past here. But there, now there's action that's being taken place. Now let's look at what's being hidden from you. We got the two of pentacles. The eight of wands reversed. The queen of swords upright. Four Pentacles reversed. Oops, and the Neptune. You're coming face to face with your with your fear. Some of you. Okay, so there's something that or someone that will be dropped or something is dropping here, and no communication is going to be taking place. This could have already happened in the past, and uh, some of you let go. You're not holding on to this any longer, and uh, you're. You're this beautiful Queen of Swords. There's a King of Swords here energy where you're very discerned and able to cut people out or situations out if it does not serve your highest. And even though with the Moon card, it's about receiving, okay, because Moon Goddess wants to give us whatever it is that we've been wanting, right? We feel a lot of you have been doing intentions to the Moon, to the full Moon or a new Moon. It's about also receiving, but it's also coming face to face with your fear, bang. 
and it talks about like some of you might be you know uh, not seeing something that's right in front of you it doesn't have to be negative it could be a positive thing that you're not seeing and what you're not seeing is that you have abundance you have a lot of pen you have the ace of pentacles you have all four uh, aces on the ground you got the three of pentacles here which talks about uh you know you got uh, higher learning and higher under understanding um and you have the ten of pentacles okay which talks about abundance so now let's look at and you got completion so let's look at the world card with the Ten of Pentacles. What else is supposed to be shown here for me? Okay, again, you got the Nine of Swords twice reversed. And that shows me that you're going to stop worrying. Okay, because worry is a waste of time and emotion. There's nothing that could change. Okay, and being able to relax and sleep and trusting the universe and having faith. So let's look at the world card and the Ten of Pentacles. You got the two of cups, the three of wands, and the three of swords reversed. Definitely there was someone here that healed a loss or some type of heartbreak in a situation. And what they're showing me all together is that, yeah, whatever you're doing, keep working on it, Aquarius, because let me tell you, you got the two of cups, the ten of pentacles, and the three of wands. There's the two people coming in together. There's two people coming in together. There is a connection here. Ten of pentacles is, it talks about the fruit of life. Okay, and the three of wands, your manifest, your whatever that you manifested out there is coming towards you. So please do not give up on your goals and on your dreams, and keep working on whatever it is that you're working on. You're leaving people behind that have been toxic. You have a lot of unhealthy uh, people around you, uh, and uh, some of you, that's the best way that you did that you could have done for yourself. Underneath the deck, I do have. Look at this. I got the King of Cups reversed, followed by Justice reversed, and the Knight of Cups. Someone here is not emotionally available, is not able to come in. So something that's still not in balance here. And it's about the truth for some of you. Okay. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading. And now we're going to do your bonus round. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, Aquarius, I'm back with your bonus round. So the planets that are affecting you at this time or has been affecting you. And everything that's underneath the video, you'll see there's um, underneath the video, there's uh, places where I'll send you on uh, Google. For free bird charts okay if not uh, you'll see underneath the video who i recommend if you want to get a personalized uh, a chart and the planets are affecting you at this time or have been affecting you was is jupiter okay venus is about love and finances uh pluto the south node in sagittarius neptune mars and saturn okay so those are the planets and now we're going to get started with the bonus. You have, um, let me see, eight signs that showed up in your reading. You have Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Taurus, Pisces, Libra, Sagittarius, and Aries. So let's get started with your reading, with your bonus. Okay, so the bonus round is a heart to heart, soul to soul. This is about being vulnerable with each other. Sometimes it's hard for people to be vulnerable tell people how they really feel okay and this could be about anybody in your life maybe someone that you haven't spoken to in a long time this could be you giving a message to someone or someone is giving a message to you okay so let's get started cards are ready okay so aquarius if you're dealing with a aries so what I'll do is I'll let the cards fall first, which I find it's easier that way. If you're dealing with an Aries, where are the messages? If you're dealing with an Aries, is there any more messages? No. Okay, one more. Oh. If you're dealing with an Aries, is there any more messages? And this one wanted to come out. Okay. So if you're dealing with an Aries, okay, Aries, we're doing Aries now. Okay, there's a secret here. They're feeling nostalgic. They're in denial. I am sorry I triggered you. Be patient with me, please. The changes are real. You are hard to forget. I'm still moved by you. They have repressing emotions. They're feeling wishy-washy. I want to talk to you. You change my whole direction. Our eye contact is insane. And what we have is a soul recognition. If you're dealing with an Aries. 
if you're dealing with a Sagittarius Aquarius, Sagittarius. Any more messages for Sagittarius? No, that's it. So if you're dealing with a Sag, they're heartbroken. I don't want to let you down. They're feeling annoyed. You were so unexpected. They are guarded. They're doubting. They're calm. They're bitter. I just want to go back in time and you are twin flames if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. If you're dealing with a Libra, Aquarius. So if you're dealing with a Libra, you are old flames. There's guilt here. They're nervous. It's hard for me to explain things. You are the one. I had no idea you end up, would end up meaning so much to me. You're distant. They're controlling. I'm trying to figure things out. They have gratitude. I remember everything you said. They're daydreaming and they're saying, wait for me. Now, if you're dealing Aquarius with a Pisces, Pisces, okay. If you're dealing with a Pisces, you will always be my secret love. I won't let you go. You give me so much to look forward to. They're confused. They're feeling stressed. My karmic story is ending. You hit me out of nowhere. They're frustrated. I am making plans. They're honest and they're bored. If you're dealing with a Pisces. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Aquarius. That card wants to come out. If you're dealing with a Taurus. Let's see what's going on if you're dealing with a Taurus. I want to be vulnerable with you. They have good intentions. <clears throat> They're excited. You're loving. My nerves are getting the best of me sometimes. I want your attention. They have regret. They have sadness. They're indecisive. And suddenly all the songs I hear are about you. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, a Gemini. Gemini. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, they have repressed emotions at this time. They're passionate. They have a lot of passion. I thought about reaching out, but I don't know what to say. I can't stop thinking of you. They're angry, they're fantasizing, they're envious. I'm sending you telepathic messages. I am working on myself and I want a future with you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Aquarius, Let's see what's going on with a Capricorn. Okay. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, I can't walk away. They're stuck. I'm overthinking everything. I regret how I handled things before. 
I don't want to miss my chance with you. They're apologetic. I've been having weird dreams about us. They are, they, they're annoyed. No one else matters now. I'm ready for more than just text messages. They're blocking. They have fear. They're cold. I'm overthinking, I'm, I'm overcoming my fears and they're asking you to trust them. Trust me. Last but not least, if you're dealing with a Virgo, Aquarius. <clears throat> if you're dealing with a Virgo, let's see. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they're feeling triggered at this time. I don't care what people think anymore. You are the only one who truly gets me. We will be together again. Your words speak to me like no others can. They're excited. They have shame. I am choosing you. I'm afraid to trust. They're compassionate. They're anxious. They are safe. If I, only own, if I had only known then what I know now, they have guilt. They're anxious again. And I miss you more than you know. So I hope that you enjoyed your bonus round, Aquarius. And now we're going to look into your crystals. What are the crystals that you need? Your crystal is magnetite, magnetite. And it benefits healing through magnetic qualities, brings the body energy into balance. It promotes meditation and visualization. It draws in love, commitment, and loyalty, and encourages objectivity and perspective, balances the logical mind with the emotions, and this is with the root chakra. It grounds and centers energies, aligns the chakras, and connects the body's energies within the earth. So magnetite is your crystal of the week. And now let's look at your sacred geometry. Okay, you got a sacred number? Let me just take the book. You got a sacred number, zero. And your card is awakening. This is about the Akashic Records and Conscious Evolution. And your affirmation, if you want to repeat, repeat after me, if not, all you have to say is so, so it is. The greatest teacher is my soul. I am awakening and experience my soul communicating with me now in all that I do. Again, the greatest teacher is my soul. I am awakening and I experience my soul communicating with me now in all that I do and so it is. So you are experiencing conscious evolution at this time. You are vibrating at higher frequencies than you ever before. You are awakening and tuning to your soul's calling as you walk your path in this physical lifetime. Time seems to move faster as these resonant shifts occur. 
your conscious awareness of all life experiences increases and you receive new information from, from higher vibrational realms that require processing and assimilation. Pay strong attention, Aquarius, to your dreams and to your waking moments as the universe is giving you messages. This may manifest as a deja vu, uh, repetitive numbers, a feeling, a thought, a smell, or even a touch. Okay, and uh, Awakening is a sacred card. When this card is drawn, okay, so it's asking me to pull another card. Okay, uh, why are they asking? Okay, well, to pull another card to place onto it. Whatever the card is that is is if that is that you draw is what is suggested you focus on. So I have to take another card here. But for the this card here, the crystals are uh, Herkimer diamond, apophilite pyramids, or clear quartz. Uh, clear quartz. So Herkimer diamond, apophilite pyramids, and clear quartz. And I am going to take an extra card now. Okay. Because they asked me to pull an extra card. And that's what you need to focus on. Let's see what you need to focus on, Aquarius. There we go. Two things you need to focus on. Protection. And also, you have a frequency card. And that's what I felt because my throat was like going on and off. So I'm very sensitive to that. So you got the frequency expression card 741. You go on YouTube and you put 741 frequency. And your affirmation is, I live a healthy, happy, and carefree existence by allowing myself to self-express my needs, wants, and desires. Again, I live a healthy, happy, and carefree existence by allowing myself to self-express my needs, wants, and desires. Okay? And uh, the crystals that you want to use for this, uh, and also the color to wear is blue or use blue and uh, you could be using a blue lace agate rose quartz or snowflake obsidian for this one the next card you got is number 44 so let's take a look at it together and you have protection safeguard yourself aquarius and your affirmation is i am protected from negative energy and ill arm i am protected from negative energy and ill arm i am protected from negative energy and ill arm and so it is there are many ways in which you could protect yourself, but the best way is to intention and placing etheric grids around your physical and auric fields. Also carrying crystals that are specific, specific for protection is fabulous, as, it uh, as is creating grids in your home or office with intention. So uh, jet, black kyanite, black tourmaline, labradorite, or bronzite, okay, for protection. I like the most, the one I like the most is black kyanite, okay? But you guys could also use Jet, Black Tourmaline, Labradite, or Bronzite. So these are your three cards. All right, let's put them here. And last but not least, let's look at our beloved universe and see what is the message being relate to you at this time. First card is number 19, which is a 10. Believe in your power to manifest, Aquarius. And it says here, breathe your creation into existence. Next card is number 34. Let love be your guide. Live a life from love, guided by love. And last but not least, we got number 14. Stay strong and be a guiding light. Ground yourself and be love, Aquarius. So I hope that you enjoyed your readings. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you all. And remember, we are one and we are love. Please take care and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.